No, yeah, a lot of movies that everyone around me grew up with, I had to watch in Spanish on Telemundo, like, oh, type shit. And okay. Like, one of the worst Spanish dubs I've ever heard was <laughs> was The Little Rascals, uh, like, that movie. Uh-huh. But, like, because they're kids, they, they don't have any, like, voice actor kids in Spanish to do it. No, so they're so adult they just, voices. So it's all adult oh, voices. Hi, oh, I'm Little Timmy. <laughs> the little Mexicans are coming out. Of, it's so jarring. That the, is weird. The I ginger like kid, they literally give him a cheech voice. <laughs> like, like, they're all talking about, like, being there for each other, and then this little ginger kid just comes in. Porque somos amigos y nunca... <laughs> Nunca faltaremos. <laughs> Sweet Derek, are we live? We are live. Coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Naturals Pod. Welcome to this episode of the Naturals Pod. As always, I'm Uncle Kyle. Seated on the other end of the couch, the greatest goddamn podcast producer on the planet. Sweet Derek, the producer. What up, Natties? Let's go. Today we have a very special guest. He is an occasional mime who can also juggle comedian Jorge Luis. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Strong intro. I like just right off the top. Just get the. <laughs> you gave me some interesting facts for the little intro there. So yeah, I really honestly I had to think about it a lot harder than I than I should have because I was like I, mean, I just do stand up. Right? I was like. Oh wait, I guess I guess I, I do have a performance background. It didn't just start with stand up. Yeah. But now I mean the real test is is uh all right, come out of the closet. Do we have seven balls for him to juggle? You oh, know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, Derek, <laughs> <Shit>. for real. <laughs> when you're <Huh>? the test. <laughs> Fuck, I can do three of them at a time. That's about <laughs> I feel I'll like... get through them all, but like <laughs> yeah. only in columns of three. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel like the true sign of a juggler is like, do you have some in your car right now? They stashed in the trunk, little glove box. Actually, don't. Action. I used to. I used to have. I have to have sacks on me because I was really about that life. I was just. I was ready to clown at like old times, but uh, no, not not anymore. I though I was anticipating to go to uh, EDC, which is happening right now. Yeah. You know, and I I did buy juggling balls that are like LED. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, I get it. They they were ridiculous. I, do you do the finger gloves and shit? <laughs> Glow sticks. No, you know what? You I shuffle. <laughs> What kind of EDC E E D C or are you? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I go for the open field. It seems that pretty was going to be the next question. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the only way that the gloves are cool at all. Like, it, like I, I will judge the like glove stuff, but as soon as I'm like fucking zonked out, like staring at it, I'm just like, this is fucking incredible. <laughs> This is amazing. This guy's killing it. <laughs> I would be worried about like being kidnapped, like somebody like mesmerizing me with the gloves into a van, and then I'm being carted <laughs> away to a motel somewhere, and they're gonna cut my kidneys out and shit. That'd be horrifying, dude. I don't like that. Do and if you were on drugs, kidneys? I would be telling you, dude. Everyone's staring at you. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm not the best worse. friend. No, yeah, I'm like, dude. Isn't that glove guy keep staring at you? <laughs> It's kind of weird that you kept walking towards them. <laughs> You're gonna play into <laughs> try to make sure people are, people are gonna have a violent EDC. I can't I can't help it. <laughs> Just, like, oh shit! I, I'm not. I I know that I won't make you like fuck up your trip if you are ever like doing drugs, but like. I just want you to know that it is always in the back of my mind. It is like to fuck with people. Yeah. <laughs> just it. like look at this power I have right now. <laughs> I think that's why Derek doesn't want to really sample anything because I've told him I'm like I'll be I'll be a just kind a and guy. gentle Sherpa, yeah. and I'll make sure that you have a good time. I've heard too many um, bad stories. That's the problem. I feel like people have ruined it for me. You know what I'm saying? They've they they put too much fear into me where I'm like, that eh, doesn't even sound worth the. That's a healthy anymore. fear, though. Yeah. yeah, you know, actually, I actually explained to someone what shrooms was like recently, and I uh, yeah. I real I realized that I was not selling it at all. Like, I am not the person that will change your mind about oh, okay. psychedelics. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I know they make you feel like you're like bloods like in a hot tub. Like, yeah, like yeah. Just, the, these newcomers are like, what the f what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where so have you? Seen seen at the rebel gas stations they have the fucking mushroom bars now but they're not like psilocybin mushrooms they're amanita muscaria or something which is potentially poisonous and can kill you i have eaten a few of them no way they've made it into the into the gas, gas station, station. Yeah, i gas swear station. to god dude they're yeah. like 25 bucks god bless vegas yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it just seems like a loophole too because they're like not illegal but like also i don't know if they're supposed to be legally selling them so it's a it's land like, of yeah. debauchery no, that yeah. we live in dude i love that that's las vegas's policies on a lot of drugs it's just like you know I mean, if you want to. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think it's like that Kratom shit that they sell at smoke shops. Have you ever heard of that? No. It's, what is that? Oh, uh, yeah. Kratom. It's is, like yeah. a derivative of the cocaine plant or something. Yeah, it's a but, it's but it's like, like super very, addictive, very but they try to say dose. it's not, but it, but it is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the people do it like with their coffee. And so they say it's supposed to like energize you and stuff, but it's it's basically like a form of heroin. Though. I think I was like 25 and I... I swallowed like a fistful of those things and went to a rave out on boulder highway and that what was a, a sentence that was a very <laughs> interesting experience <laughs> is a sentence, dude, boulder highway. if you're not going to edc you want the boulder, the highway, fucking boulder, highway. boulder highway rave is oh where it's my at God, dude. No, yeah, see the, like most of most of kratom says it's like a herbal substance and a lot of it says it's bad but it's an opiate and stimulant so it is kind of like a like a heroin kind of cocaine and also there's stories out there that it's like fuck people up and killed them so i'm not trying to join that crowd no thank you on the kratom no yeah like you know you gotta you gotta know when you're not a kratom guy you gotta, like, <laughs> you gotta get that out of the way real quick like it's like whippets like you you what, as soon as you like even get near that you already know if you're gonna be about it or not <laughs> i did one night just a shitload of those and i was like i'm never doing that again it was kind of fun but did nah. you do it on your own or did you have people with you it was neither is makes it better <laughs> it was at a party i think i was like 20 it was at a house party my buddy was djing and i was just su sucking on balloons i'm not proud of it it was literally <laughs> one time and i wasn't sucking a <laughs> sorry derek you're gonna have to bleep that or do we leave that in i don't know we're gonna figure it out later <laughs> but anyways it just like slows down time it's like whoop, 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 whoop. for like a couple seconds it's, uh, it's like it's i never did that but did you remember a long time ago it was like a trend to like pass out do you remember that? <laughs> no, that was like a trend in our like, yeah, school or whatever, where like to have people pass out. That wasn't, you know, what I'm talking you about? know, yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. If I'm, I'm assuming you're referring to like the choking challenge that like went around for a bit when I was in high school, it was just to see like you know two people what? choke each other out, whoever like you know it was what it wasn't that intense that's an intense no i wasn't doing that shit oh yeah me neither sorry I to, <laughs> sorry i went to public school i thought we all did i, I did 100 percent. Where, where did you guys go uh uh public high school are you from vegas i am yeah i'm as, born and raised no i was born in torrance california but like three months uh of my life my parents decided to uh, move move here so you're so. basic i mean you're basically yeah like i'm as months, yeah. i'm still as native as it yeah. gets pretty yeah, much, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. certified i mean i am 100 percent from here no shade I okay that I makes not. all your stories make more sense like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i wondered why we got so along and yeah. i was just like oh we natives just... <laughs> dude natives he went to like private shadow school ridge and then shadow, shadow ridge, ridge high yeah. school i went to private oh, okay. school before i went to high school so yeah mm. private, private school is interesting and they didn't do the choking game there it's I didn't Different get invited form to do problem. that, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of uh, drug addicts. Do you have to bleep that one, too, or... No, you're probably fine on that one. <laughs> I say it's okay to call high schoolers drug addicts. There's nothing where... Yeah, it's, it's fine. That's not that crazy. We all knew them, you know. We were them. We existed. Point. Not me personally, but, you know, you guys look like... <laughs> No, I, I find it crazy. Like when we talk about kratom and just some stuff, I I, f I think it's really funny that like of all of all things to like survive from like the old times, we will still always have snake oil salesmen that are just like yeah. like it's okay, but it's good for you. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. You know, Gingy just, just been really cool about it. Like gas station penis growth pills will always exist dude i've heard that okay so i'm <laughs> i've heard a thing have right, you ever sampled one of those that, that they're using filler and to make them bigger dude yeah that that's 100 yeah. a thing you, that is a thing <laughs> you get God. a shot of filler to make yourself bigger yeah i wouldn't do that though it's I, I like, like when no. chicks get like fat <laughs> injections in their asses mm -hmm. and stuff it just makes it fatter but I'm good. Regular dick bros. <laughs> Am I right, Derek? Regular or do dick you bros. wanna do you wanna get down on yeah. that? Like, we all have no, 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 we no. all have soft nines in here, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that, dude. Just the idea of a needle going near that's enough for me to say. Correct. Pass. Correct. That's, that's really where I start to get into territory. Like, can you be fucking genuine for once? Yeah. Like, can you just be your best five inch self? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 
Tom. Five inches of freedom. That's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wild. No, I wouldn't do that though. That's intense. Pass. Also, like, I really strange coincidence. Like, uh, your uh, your neighbors, their their truck. Uh, I used to work for that company in high school, so it was like really bizarre coming here and then just <laughs> outside. A, so that's just a fucking <laughs> definite bleep that we're we're not going to include that in the episode. I, I the name of the company entirely. That, yeah. that, oh, absolutely. That is a hilarious coincidence. I love that you just said that. Um, how long ago was this? Well, I mean, well, I was in high school. I'm 27 now, so I I, I did it for. They like, definitely didn't live there. They haven't. Been no, there no, long. these aren't the same people. I, I was working for uh, a former Czechoslovakian man named Goran. Oh, don't definitely believe that. not these. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's not the we three. We can leave that shit in, dude, because it's <laughs> yeah, definitely not no, the same not, people. Yeah. I wasn't hilarious. gonna dox your. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there's more context behind it. Yeah. Sorry, no, yeah. I didn't just work for your neighbors. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> You're those neighbors they're always talking about, yeah. like. <laughs> I would be though. So how, how was it like? Where, was it like Party Down? You know the show Party Down? You ever watch the show? I watched. Sure I watched the pilot for it. That's it. Okay. I, it didn't. It didn't that quite hook me. That show is fucking incredible. Dude. I love you that show. It's great. Yeah. It's kind of like The Office. Like you got to give yep. it a little. You got to give it a little. Go. But it's like that. They're like caterers that go to like parties or whatever. Which I would imagine. In like California, somewhere. right? Or, yeah. Yeah. It's very funny. It's a good show. I like that one. Which was I didn't you guys even watching know you right watched now. that shit, Derek. Huh? I said, I didn't know you oh, watched Oh, yeah, yeah, it's shit. great. They were talking about bringing it back, but they didn't. Uh, show's watching right now. I mean, I just finished Fallout. We talked about that a little bit, but that's a great fucking show on Amazon Prime. That was a good one. Um, I got to finish Shogun. Man, you still have it. Intense. I, yeah, I've been busy. Oh, here. I've heard good things about Shogun. Yeah, Shogun's great. Highly recommend that. It, I mean, it is uh, prepare yourself for Excuse some me. dark shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be it on the is. right side of mind it to watch is. that that's show, a dark but one. it is good. Very good. In what sense? Because, like, I'm a horror movie buffs, but I know that's not always the same context for yeah so it. it's not necessarily in sense of horror as more as it's just like dark and like depressing and like you're like ooh, this is brutal like it's just a very ominous they thing, lived you know? by like a super strict violent code and you're like ooh, yeah that's like basically I'll, I'll, I'll give like, you you're gonna have to bleep that shit too. What's up, YouTube? I don't, I don't make you bleep stuff shit. out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fucking worst, Eric, and I know it, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. But, yeah, it, it's, it's it's a good, but it's very good. It's like um, it, uh, the way I kind of say it is um. I would even maybe maybe say slightly better. Don't get on me, but I think slightly better than like a Game of Thrones. But it's more on like the samurai and Jap Jap Japanese side, and I like that shit. I've always been a big fan of like samurais and shit like that. So no, it's like yeah, that, it's like that vibe, Game of Thrones, where it's like there's factions and people are killing each other and crazy like politics shit, and it's it's cool. It's a good show. It's just it's cool, cool as fuck. I mean, yeah. like you had me at Shogun. I mean, like anything <laughs> like Japanese. You put a katana in there and a dude in a uh, samurai yeah, outfit. Yeah. Like I'm all in. I don't like it's fu it, totally. It's sick. But yeah, like the first episode, they like boil some guy alive in a freaking thing, and then like wedged, oh, that, they, oh. they wedged like a few white people in there for some reverse. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, affirmative action you know yeah. to make sure. but it but it is good but, but, uh, it's oh, historically it's, accurate it's, it's, yeah. it's that type of horror but it is subtitled accurate. too so you do have to it's read. yeah it's well written and it's, it's in japanese that's why it's cool like yeah. it adds like an extra little like one of my favorite movies is hero have you seen that with jet lee yeah that one's Great awesome fucking movie yeah, it's a good movie no oh, yeah i fucking i don't know i love martial, martial arts I, I was i was always a big bruce Same. lee fan yep. like growing up so oh, yeah. uh you know jackie chan uh so jet lee obviously too which like I I, I fuck Jet Li's Big movies Jet are Li so guy. different from the other from like anyone before him I feel oh yeah just because like I don't know he's the first one where I've seen was like martial arts and sci-fi like mixed together like I'm I'm specifically thinking of that one where he has like a duplicate like a doppelganger you guys know what I'm talking about the one the one yep mm -hmm. yeah the one, the one yeah sorry I seen movie. I only watch it in Spanish so I was like, really yeah. for real no yeah a lot of movies that everyone around me grew up with I had to watch in Spanish on Telemundo like oh, type shit and okay there was a lot of movies that were like like repeats all the time so like uh I watched a oh god like one of the worst Spanish dubs I've ever heard was was the little rascals uh like that movie uh -huh. but like because they're kids they, they don't have any like voice actor kids in spanish to do it no so they're so adult they just, voices. So it's all adult oh, voices oh, hi, i'm little timmy <laughs> <The> little mexicans <laughs> are coming out it's so jarring that the, is weird. the ginger like kid they literally give him a cheech voice they're like <laughs> like they're all talking about like being there for each other and then this little ginger kid just comes in Porque somos amigos y nunca <laughs> 
Nunca faltaramos. <laughs> just oh. like, I get it. That's hilarious. It I would have never known that. that, dude. I love that. No, no. A real good watch in Spanish, uh, Lion King. Lion King goes really hard in Spanish. Oh, really? No, yes. But like, especially Scar, he's just like... Well, like well, he just sounds like he's a dude from Spain, but it's still yeah, like yeah. it just it works. Like I, I'm always fascinated seeing. Like, so have you seen Pan's Labyrinth? Then I have. Yeah, I'm a big Guillermo del Toro yeah, fan for sure. Yeah, Guillermo del Toro is good. He had a series on Netflix that was really good too. Cabinet of Curiosities. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I got to watch yeah. it. Yeah, that one was a real good treat for me because it included a. a there was like, or I don't know how many episodes. I feel like a lot of the episodes, and it ended up actually having a lot of. Uh, uh, Easter eggs, but th it, there was a Lovecraftian episode. Yeah, like you guys yep. fuck with HP Lovecraft. I do. So he not doesn't his really views, too much. but his work. Yeah, but have you seen uh, also the HBO Max show that, it, that they did the Lovecraft show? It was like uh, Country Lovecraft uh, County. Lovecraft County. No, I remember you talking I told, about that. I, told I was not aware of that. Produced though, by like true. Jordan Peele or directed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Produced by Jordan Peele. Yeah. I watched. I watched a little bit of it. I just couldn't get into it at the time. Yeah. That's it, one it, of those ones that like it's it's on my list and like I will watch it. But yeah. I don't. I'm not. I'm, I don't quite know the mood that I need to be in to start a series like that. Well, yeah. did you did you ever watch Nope? The movie I, Nope. I did. Yeah. It's, yeah. What did you think of that? Um, I liked it. I liked how much it fucked with everyone on the internet. Like people just like were like flipping over each other's opinion on it. Like some people just like you don't fucking get it. <laughs> then just I didn't. I didn't like it. I thought it was boring. And that's totally fine too. <laughs> I there was like way too many subliminals in there. Like you had to be a the whole like thing was to be a yeah. big, yeah. Just, huge yeah. fan of his to understand that it movie. And slow. even then, he slow. like said like you have to watch it multiple times. But but I love us. Like that was a great good movie. fucking Get movie. Out. Like those love are that fucking movie. phenomenal films. I like yeah, those movies. yeah. But nope, just wasn't really for me. Us. Us is the probably my least favorite of of his, of his three movies. I don't know. If really, that's a I don't think I don't know if that's a controversial opinion. I. I think Nope would be my second, yeah, and no, Get Out would would be my first. Get Get Out is so funny, it's ridiculous how funny it yeah, is. Like, yeah. I think I think he is aware of that it has like comedy in it too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that movie was fucking scary, though. It like, was. That was yeah. like the it, shit of nightmares. No, yeah, like. Uh, I don't know what what is, what is your guys' like usually like go to horror movie or at least like that like just kind of set off a fear like growing up like mine used to be like zombie movies okay oh, yeah, like, so we so we did we, yeah movies. we love we just great it's funny we did this in the Halloween episode it was great we did uh like horror movies and stuff like that so for me and he hasn't watched it and it sucks because he he started to watch it and like got through most of it the problem is is somebody ruined it for him so it doesn't hit as hard but like Hereditary <laughs> he's talking brutal. about you Chris if you're listening <laughs> and or watching he's talking about you I'm so Chris it's all your fault but when you dude. tell someone the hits and the gnarly parts of the movie they're not going to hit you this time because you know, know they're yeah. you know but saying? yeah he did but you Chris I it, love Chris though but yeah I mean you just you're not hit the same when you know it's coming and Hereditary was gnarly when if you go into that movie blind you're no, like oh yeah, this is did, yeah. fucked yeah me too but he knew so Chris, it didn't have Chris, to sorry sit about Chris, that he'd be <laughs> sitting in his computer and he's had a pretty great experience yeah if you watch that going and not knowing nothing that is an intense it's very intense yeah. like even just see just actually watching it and like <laughs> i were keeping it youtube friendly i feel like that's what's so hard about like selling a horror movie because mm -hmm. like even down to like ads like you have to give away some of your movie because like i feel like most horror movies are are better experienced if you go into them blind because they're supposed to like kind of like unwrap I mean, I, I mean, as any movie does, but yeah. like, I just but like don't. horror works better without the context, mm. the, like going straight into it. The problem though is that nowadays a lot of them are just too like for the gory and torture shit. And I'm just not about that. I like ones that actually yes. have a story and a meaning. When it's just like, all right, how how disgusting and brutal can we make that? Like that doesn't do it for me. That's I don't Agreed. like torture porn movies. That was soft for me. So. I, I never got into the soft franchise just because yeah. just because of that. Like Saw is soft though, but there's worse. There's like Terror Fire, which is like gnarly. Terror Fire yeah, is really like, hardcore. Yeah, and like um, the house that Jack built, it's just like it, you just feel disgusting after watching it. Like you feel it feels wrong. <laughs> It's I'm starting to realize real. how I am as a person and just being like, this is where I have bed. Did you, <laughs> did you, did you see or at that least, movie? Or like, the House of Jack Bill, you saw that? I have, I have. Okay, I thought, honestly, I thought it was very funny. I like... What? Like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, not that it's not disturbing in the sense of like the imagery it's pulling off and everything. Like, yeah. like it's very brutal. It's a very brutal movie. I wouldn't just like recommend that one to anyone, even just like the standard horror watch. fans. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like I'd have to warn you what's in that one. Correct. Yeah. Um, um, but I mean, like I'm secure enough to say like 
I don't, I just don't like seeing shit like that. Um, Fair, yeah. It's just the, not for me. I understand why some people too. do. It's One of my like, really yeah, close friends likes watching that shit. But for me, I'm just like, oh, why, dude? Like that shit is like, no, yeah, and it's and it's brutal, like because it do, it does change the experience. Uh, but is we it like get, a challenge. Hold on, hold on. Is we it like a back. challenge. Yeah. Is that what it is? Like you're like, ooh, let's see. Like. No, no. I think I think I'm, I'm honestly just jaded in a very horrible way. <laughs> like, I have oh, to, at I, least when yeah. it comes to a horror movie, like I I, I weigh too heavily. Like just keep to reminding myself that like none of this is like it's not real but that doesn't mean like it, it's not charged with like you know those heavy themes that it's like pulling off but the thing about uh jack the house that jack built which i think is really weird that that it is like such a brutal movie mm -hmm. but it's strangely funny in the way of like when you just like look at it on paper it's like this guy's just like a narcissistic asshole yep, like yep, he's just yep. he's just delusion he's cringy he's well, like that's he's such a try of hard of a serial killer yep. and it's like and I think that's what makes it really, really like funny to me, at least just in in a concept way. Like not can, that's the kind of that material way, if that makes any sense. Like yeah. that's kind of how like Nope is in the sense of like you have like it's more subliminal than it is like than it is to be taken seriously for what's happening on screen. The cinematography was really fucking cool. The alien biomechanical ship thing just didn't make sense, and it had that weird square opening. And they did like an audio edit of of the inside of a Dyson vacuum from the noise of it like <laughs> sucking people up, and I was majorly disappointed in that. Yeah, movie. It, it was personally. Yeah, if you it liked it, us, but that's fine. Yeah, no disrespect. But I think if I'm trying to remember the three I picked, so I know Hereditary was my number one. I think my go to is like Scream. I just love Scream. If you're picking a slasher movie, Scream's just a fucking great movie. Um, you know, say you went on the sequels and stuff, but the original is just a great uh, slasher film. I'm trying to remember the the third one I picked though, it's not coming to me. But yeah, there's a lot of the cool great ones though. Yeah. yeah, you're rerunning yours. We should be asking him what his. Well, yeah, are. that's what that's what I was leading yeah. to. So hit us with your top three. If you had to pick top three horror movies right now, what are your three go tos? Top one for sure has to be John Carpenter's uh, The Thing. Okay, great. That, oh, that great. One. Respect. Ooh, great yeah. movie. Respect. That, that Ooh, one's the one with great. Kurt Russell, right? The old exactly. One? Yeah, 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 great yeah. Movie. No, yeah, that great that's where movie. my realm of horror movies I really it. lies. Same. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of like uh, '80s practical effects or like slashers. So you love like alien creature features, like alien. Yeah, movies. alien, oh, alien, so good, still dude. great. All of them, still even the newest ones. Oh, I'm excited for the Romulus, Alien Romulus. It's yeah, gonna, yeah, it's gonna be good. Wasn't there that one that was called like the Blob? The blob. That's a movie like the blob. Oh, yeah. and it was like a big good. purple blob yeah. and swallowing up the town. And I've seen that one. Yeah, that that one's that one's very corny, but it's it is corny, I like it. That's corny, like yeah. it's got that B movie quality. Like yep. I, those are I my favorite it. type of Cheesy horror movies. Horror, like, dude. The thing love. is, yeah. just, the thing is just such like a such a good movie, man. Like I I love that film. It's a very very. They had film. a video game. That shit was for the so blob. They did. Fun. No, the thing. No, the the thing. thing. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, yeah it's actually you a had good to game. be a little detective and mm -hmm. prepare to just smoke somebody <laughs> if they turned out to be an alien. Like you would toss them a little blood kit and be like, "Test yourself right now. Yeah, It'd prove sick. you're not an alien." Honestly, even the remake wasn't that bad. Like I think it was watchable. I thought the remake was okay. It's nothing. I still like didn't the like it. I, I, yeah. I, I that, that one frustrated me. That that's my least favorite way of like uh, that some of these movies do it because it's technically a prequel, but it felt more like a. It felt more like it was copying the original one yeah too it, was, much. it like, wasn't a prequel weirdly at all. Was weirdly homaging so many scenes yeah, yeah. from that it was a, just, it, i'm sorry like i didn't see i didn't know that little tidbit that they said it's a prequel that was a straight up remake to me like that didn't yeah yeah that movie no they were yeah trying that to say movie it was is, the other the other science spot right yeah because in the, the in dog the, was running to yeah because in the 80s one they uh they discovered the old facility where yeah. they find the ice broken everyone's dead then they find that the the two-headed creature so yeah that 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 movie is the prequel is what happened to those yeah they copy too much though from the original film i agree with you yeah that, sure. yeah it just made it weird because because if like the horror movie just makes me feel like i could just watch the original i don't i feel like i didn't really miss anything other than just this also happened so what how, hit us with your what do you what else you got the thing was number one and that's also why if somebody goes hey we're we'll give you a private contract to get, go work on this secret thing for a lot of money don't <laughs> tell anybody about it you always say no okay because they might ship you to Antarctica and you might be farming aliens and then you die or become an alien. One God forbid a band to have a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the uh, recent True Detective kind of tried to dive into that realm too because it was in Alaska when it's dark and they tried to like teeter the line of like 
spirits and kind of like that type of shit like kind of thing feel you know just mm. like this isn't what the show's about but anyways moving on the thing was what what else hit us hit us with your other faves um just because it's coming to mind and i really like this one uh, if you guys like any like vampire f- vampire flicks uh, yep. Fr- fright night is fantastic Fright night's it's, good fright night's good that's the one with uh oh my god i'm blanking on his fucking name i'm blanking on his name too <laughs> Holy shit. colin farrell right uh that's the that's the remake which is set in Vegas, so I still I want to yeah, watch it just because yeah, of that. I was thinking of yeah, yeah, but no, oh, there's the old school, the 1985 one. Okay. Yeah, that one, that one's yeah, really yeah. great if you like practical effects. So it's like right up there with you. If you enjoy the thing, you'll enjoy Fright Night. It's like it's got that like uh, 80s camp that I like in my my uh, horror movies. So you like like John Carpenter's uh, Vampires? I haven't seen that one actually. No, I haven't what? seen it yet. No. Oh, dude, you gotta watch that. It's great with James Wood, dude. It's a good one. You gotta watch that one. I'm a big vampire movie guy too. Love Blade. Yeah, yeah. Blade's fucking the classic. The sequel's kind of one got of the cheese, sickest things so ever. Good. Yeah. yeah. Blade the first one, so good. Derek is secretly a demon. Like, dude, if, if there was a realm where you're like, pick a monster you wanted to be, I'd pick a vampire. I'd be a vampire, dude. It'd be fucking cool, dude. <laughs> 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 but no, dude. I, it's, it's considering that you like the thing, you got to watch uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Very good movie. All right, I'll take that recommendation. It's good. Uh, uh, let me see for the third one. Try. Uh, you know. You know what? Um, I like how you're going like oldie school, like '80s and stuff like that too. I love this. I love those type of movies. Yeah, those are the ones that really movies. broke me into horror. Yeah. Like, I feel like they and made it. I, I don't know because I grew up with stuff like like Chucky and uh, which is which is which I like it I, I like it I, he I don't is I deadly afraid fucking, of Chucky dude, no, no no no, no, no not, Chucky, anymore, yeah, not, yeah, not anymore but we're not no, 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 not anymore no why not anymore you're lying you told me not too long I feel ago Chuck- on the pod you said Chucky still fucks no you up. I <laughs> we can okay what happened <laughs> fuck no 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 now you get to potentially look this shit up. <laughs> to prove that I'm right, I said when I was younger, I was terrified of Chucky, but terrified. not anymore. I'm not. Okay, whatever. Same, same, actually. Yeah, That's what I was getting I, at. I was, like, yeah. Oh, so you like it and it terrifies you? Well, I didn't like it while it was terrifying me. No. Because <laughs> like, uh, he was nervous to watch the movie Megan. Megan? <laughs> I <don't- laughs> Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> Megan, really? Yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't like the doll shit. It is weird, yeah. But that's true. That's Megan is the I'm natural gonna... evolution of the doll movie, yeah. actually. I, I don't like it. You're totally right on yeah. that. I, I don't really like that I'm putting this information on the internet, but it is true. It's I love you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> if I have a fucking robot robo nightmare tonight, Derek. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> Megan was a low key good movie. I enjoyed that movie. It was. Again, it was kind of like a comedy. Like a, it's a horror, but it's just funny. Like it was a funny movie. I don't know if you yeah. watched it, but it was good. It was entertaining. No, I did. I felt the same way. I started enjoying it more when I stopped like worrying about it, like taking it so seriously. Because it wasn't even taking not, itself no, seriously. No, correct. It which wasn't is, meant to be. Yep. It made it enjoyable. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, down to the ending, like it was. It was just. It was really fun. Predictable it was like, too. But yeah. it was like a good. good I felt like I was ending. watching Terminator, but like it's like it, it's natural evolution of like it was just funny. Like yeah. in that sense, it's good. Uh, which I, if Terminator Two can count as a horror movie, I, I would well, put Terminator that as my third because yeah, like Terminator Two is great. That guy, that guy scared me growing up. The T One Thousand. Yeah, like it, it's Sprint will like always oh, be in my mind. If that thing was coming after you, you'd be fucked. That, I think we've said it multiple times on the pod, Derek. That like like facing robots in combat. Like fuck that. Well, that's why I don't like that bleak. Boston dynamic <laughs> shit. Stop doing it. Stop. Stop a- all AI. Yeah, stop right all those sheep. <laughs> Have you seen, seen those that? things? You know, I'm talking can, about like, the run? Boston dynamic stuff. Yeah. They're like the dogs, and like you can't kick them off balance. And it's like this is like an episode of Black Mirror, dude. Kick like, them harder. Know? Like I for, like no, yeah, I'm I'm fully agree with it because. I don't know, man. I don't want our apocalypse to be like like the Skynet one. Like, I mean, they mount a machine gun turret to that, and We're, it's fucking yeah. game over. It's, so, it's the lamest apocalypse. The machine takes over. It's just gonna wait to murder you. 
thanks, man's hubris. Like, I fuck I don't <laughs> agree. I get taken out by a drone for that's cost like twenty dollars <laughs> to make. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I just want to go quick. Fuck yeah. it. I don't care how much it costs. Like, just end it immediately. Can I at least Dang. have like a kaiju like apocalypse? Like, I'll take that. I'll get obliterated, obliterated by Godzilla. Like, I'll do that. Like, ending. I actually heard that the new one was phenomenal. I haven't got the chance to watch it, but the one where it's the the Japanese, it's in dub. They it came in theater. Oh, for minus one. zero. Won, yeah, and it like one. It actually the won an What Godzilla? It's, oh, okay. It's actually supposed to be phenomenal. Like, it's, it's like, pretty it's good. A good movie. Like, yeah, it's really good. I gotta watch catch it. it. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, like Godzilla yeah. fan or not, it's a, it's really, it's a really cool movie. It's. It really does r- remind you that, like, yeah, Godzilla's inception was literally like the horrors of World War II, and that that movie does not like plays it all the way through. It's 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 incredible. It's really good. Like, oh, yeah. the atomic breath has never been so like threatening in that one. Like, watch it. You'll. St- it's not even a spoiler, but like when you see it go off, it's 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 nuts. It's on my list. Hi- highly on my list. Too. Okay, so do you? This is a little side tangent. Do you think there's something either in the ocean or out in space that is just prepared to fucking obliterate us at any moment like <laughs> are we on some <laughs> area 51 type shit like i think so i think so like i'm gonna let you in on this aliens oh. are real man i've seen them <laughs> that's it no no but like i i think so like i really think like probability wise we can't be the only ones on yeah like I, I in, in the too. universe i feel like I don't actually believe that they're here, though, but I believe they exist. Slowly invaded, men, a la men, fucking Men in Black. Oh, you like, I feel like we're just being scattered right now. I still feel like we're just being observed for a couple thousand years until they figure out what they want to do with us. Like, so you're like that movie. It's another horror movie when they're like they'll take over your body. It's like the pods. They, invasion they, of the body snatchers. Yeah, invasion of the body snatchers, dude. Where they're just I believe yeah. in Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that was hover, dude. Like, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna die. Yeah, and, and I will. <laughs> I don't I will like go that, dude. I don't want I that. I don't Jesus. like it. You should too. Read your Bibles. No, seriously, because like, <laughs> like being scared of zombies, like body snatchers, is like literally the next realization of that. It's just like, like I don't know. I, I think my fear was always just been like that. That the idea of assimilation, like to a group, to just be like a mindless hive is just so it's so bleak it's so depressing and it's like it's like terrifying zombies 100 percent. i think the zombies over aliens for sure agreed they would both suck but aliens would be way more frightening because aliens like in zombies you have a fight but in aliens yeah. you have no fight you no know, yeah you're, you're doing nothing you're like an ant i don't want to see how long i would fucking survive and with how the, oh and zombies yeah. with zombies and how the world would devolve and hopefully like i said i could just go quickly we already saw it though we saw it on the walking dead that's how the world would dissolve dude where people are just fucking murdering and killing and acting you feel crazy. like that's accurate like, i do like that's exactly... i do think that's accurate yeah i yeah. think people would turn on each other and there'd be groups and factions and you have to worry not just about the zombies but psycho people out there doing fucked up shit yeah okay I don't like yeah it. so let me yeah. ask the two of you something let's just let's just say Derek and I are very close friends. Let's just say that you're also an equally close friend with us. <laughs> and today it's like breaking news, zombie apocalypse. What what the fuck are we doing, fellas? First move. Are we trying to get out of Dodge or are we like you got to get out of Vegas. Building a fortress. No, you got to get really? out of Vegas. It's Where too big going? of a city. We got to figure a way to get out, dude. Where? Where are you going? The... I think either the desert or the mountains. Like I, I feel like yeah, on an Mount incline, you gotta maybe we can get out to make Mount Charleston get high ground because dude, we don't want to stay in the city. It's too many people. It's too much chaos. We got to. Do you want out. some scary zombie shit to occur out in the wilderness to you? You want to be on an unfamiliar place. Honestly, I'd prefer it over in Yes, because really? if, if you're stuck in here, I think our chances of survival are less fortressing this house than venturing out. I, without without revealing too much, I'm pretty well. Prepared. I know you're prepared, but I'm just saying they're going to get in here. It's get, we're going to get overwhelmed. There's going to be too much. It's it's not a good idea to be to stay here. It's bad. We're gonna bad idea. I mean, we'll discuss this plan off the podcast. <laughs> so we can have our zombie apocalypse ready to shit on point. Kyle just takes out like a blueprint. Just like what the fuck? Yeah, he's all got a plan. I'm ready shit. to go. I like that. I like a person who's prepared for a zombie apocalypse. I don't know. I just I just vibe. I just vibe with the paranoia of it. Like. Yeah. It's a valid fear to have. You got to be prepared for at least one apocalypse. You know, roll the dice on it. Like you prepare for something. If it's not going to be in a earthquake or in a, or a tornado, like prepare for a, an apocalypse. How would it be for you if it was like the leftovers, where it was like the rapture, where people just disappeared one day and like half the planet was just gone? 
I think the pandemic kind of got us ready for that one. Actually, I, <laughs> turns out I would uh, I would be way into looting. I would- oh, I fucking love it. Yeah, I'm stealing yeah. shit. I, yeah. I will definitely be stealing shit. I'm yeah. sorry. I will. What are you yeah, st- no. I'm what gonna are you have stealing? Fun. Yeah. What are you stealing? Wow, you're really trying to get me to tell on myself fully and completely right now. <laughs> Not everyone can survive, sweet Derek. I mean, and if half the fucking world's gone, like the odds are in my favor that nobody's showing up, you know? Uh, I I also think, I don't know. If I'm in a zombie apocalypse, I'm not prepared to live long. So I think I'm more going for like, uh, like blaze of glory type of so he's like solution. that too. He's the same way. Oh yeah, like I'm talking about like stronghold, like a mall or something until like we like Ooh, we die. Ooh, a mall seems like a bad idea too, though. Cause it is. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, but he's the same way. He's like, I'm gonna go out glunt guns a blazing, which I respect because it's true. You don't want to just if they were like on some World War Z type shit Ooh, where they that's were more frightening like, than regular ones. You're super human crazy. Yeah, like if like like they're that. like slow, eh, we'll figure out a way to navigate that. Yeah, keep them away. Yeah. If and they're fast though, ooh, God, yeah, those that's suck. fucking terrible. Yeah, if they're like yeah. on some superhuman Nike, I am zombies. legend type shit. Like, yeah, no, like thank you no, for yeah. that. I have to know what's, what's your guys' favorite uh, zombie movie? Do you do you have one? Um, hmm. Night of the Living Dead is always like just a go to good classic that I like a yeah. lot. It's a good one. Yeah, that'd probably be like my go to. What about you, buddy? Fuck, dude. It's been a while since I've watched any of those, but like the. I think it was called Dawn of the Dead, where yep. they were in, in the, mall? the mall. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah. I fucking. I saw that one in theater. Love that one. And then like the OG great. one, where I think they're trapped in the church or something, and there's a graveyard nearby. It's one of the older. That's Night of the Living Dead. That's the one I oh, named. Okay. Yeah. Then that one it's as well. One. Yeah. yeah. But I, I love movies like that too, like Evil Dead. 28 Evil Days oh, yeah. Later. Do you like the new one? The new one was great. Evil Dead Rises. Yep, it was good. It was pretty cool. Ooh, those are like kind of intense. That's they like, are that's intense. like they really are yeah. kind of yeah. flirting the borderline where I'm like, ooh, we're gonna do some gross like that's true upsetting kind it of is, things. But I did yeah. enjoy it. It is good. I got a I got a classic for you. Have you ever seen Reanimator? Uh, I've seen a lot of clips from it. I haven't seen it all the way through myself, but that one's that one's been on my list. That one, that one, that one seems really wacky. Like, it, it is again. It's, it's a wacky. You got to take it for what it's for, but it's, it's also a Lovecraft like, story. Yeah, yeah Reanimator's great. Uh, speaking of Lovecraft, like Guillermo del Toro, that we mentioned earlier, apparently he's been working on a movie about the Cthulhu's myth- mythos for like a long time. He's trying to make an adaptation of the Mountain of Madness. Mm. You guys know that story. I, I don't know that story specifically. It's funny. He didn't even know what Cthulhu was. I'd explain it to him. I'm like, dude, there's a oh, really? Park episode on it. But Say is, it is again. It? Say it again. It's like Cthulhu. No, no, no. <sighs> I heard it too. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to roast you, Derek. God damn it. But I was just saying, like, remind me. I remember you telling me about this, but I don't remember the specifics of it. Yeah, like, but hit us with the story, dude. Hit us with the story. What is Cthulhu? Oh, oh, yeah. The Mount oh, of... Yeah. Well, Cthulhu is, like, uh, the, the high monster. priest, elder one. Uh, basically, just, like, an old race. And there's like he's, like, the guy that they let leave on Earth to, like, uh, basically start the apocalypse as soon as someone wakes him up. And that's that's right. not the parts I'm most interested about, the Lovecraft mythos. I like Mount of Madness, that story. That one's kind of, like, uh, kind of like the thing in the sense of, like, it's set in the Arctic... Um, they find basically like an old ancient city and it's clearly not made by humans so they're all just kind of like exploring these like ruins and being like like if it wasn't you never people, do that you should never do that um yeah and i don't think i want to give it away any more than that like uh but if you're into like in sci-fi like that in the sense of like finding an ancient world shit, yeah. that's in ruin and what caused it to be in ruin and how is it older than mankind civilization like if you're intrigued by that type that it's it's a great it's a great story mm, sounds like it could be a good movie then that's why i believe in jesus and i don't want to <laughs> live forever because that's it's all it's all frightening <laughs> This is a good Christian podcast. Everyone. The universe is fucking <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> that's it. That is exactly the the Lovecraft mythos. Basically, is like, yeah. dude, what if like what we didn't know was scary, and everyone in the fifties was like, that's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> that's a, oh god, I I love shit like that. Yeah, same. I also just accept that I'm a tiny grain of sand on the beach 
in the universe. See, like so. me and you are different. Whereas, like, if I knew we could travel in space, I would love to take that adventure, dude. Like, just fucking just traveling around to unknown mm. planets, like Star Trek and Star Wars and shit. And it might be frightening and crazy, but it would be cool, and I would be about it. I think it would be cool. I just don't have the patience to be on a spaceship for that long. That's true, but I'm just <laughs> saying if we live in, a, I'm just talking about we're going into fantasy land. So I'm just saying you can you can go at the speed of light and you could just fucking. Boop, 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 oh, boop, okay. Or, or also, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not also, like in hibernation for thirty years or some shit. Or know? also, if they had, I mean, at that point, you got to be like fuck family unless you're dragging them all along with you. <laughs> but if you could like go into stasis, <laughs> like pause your age and <laughs> physical ability and shit travel and then come out the other side like on but a then snack, that's how you, you know wake up with a face hugger that got you while you're in your sleep and then your chest is what the <laughs> what <Yeah>. what <laughs> why you immediately went the alien route we were, like, we were more talking about like what if your dad just left you to go to mars yeah. <laughs> god damn no my papa you know you, you, you went to mars you you know that, that, that fool was out of here no he left me <laughs> would you would you be would you do that so oh like elon my was trying to leave my family I'll see you no, later just, just, son. Just go to <laughs> I gotta go be a space man. <laughs> I wouldn't do the one way trip to Mars. Fuck no. That's uh, fucking but what I do? What I do? What? The one way trip to Mars. Like let's say let's say like you know you were you were, didn't have like obligations here and Elon's like we're sending the one thing you're a one way mission to Mars. Ooh, would you nah, do I wouldn't do it. I don't feel Mars is gonna be cool for a couple centuries. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need that bitch genderfied. I, like once you start getting like Starbucks and shit up there, what I might if it was go. Like Total Recall, right? Because they eventually got stuff on Mars, dude. Total Recall is a good movie too. Total Recall. Why, why am I blanking on that one? I'm thinking of uh, the one with with. Dwayne Rock Johnson. No, that's not. No, that's to- not that no, one. no, total recalls with Arnold, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, dude. Total, total right, right, right. Where he doesn't know if he's in the what is it? A simulation? Yeah, I, I, but, I, but I clearly on, haven't seen it. It's this. on. Yeah, uh, but it's like he's on like Mars or whatever. Yeah, it's a good movie though. Oh, it's even set on Mars. Oh, so it's full sci-fi. Is it like? It's a sci-fi Fifth movie. Element where it's like, well, cool, cool guy like is is in space. So doing to me, shit. straight up, like the Fifth Element is probably like my all-time favorite sci-fi movie of all time. I love that fucking movie. I it's great. It holds up. It. Yeah, it's so good. Like Chris Tucker in that movie is just fucking hilarious. Bruce Willis, say what you want about him, just phenomenal action star. Like, yeah, I love the Fifth Element so much. You know, it's awesome. No, yeah, it's like it's like one of those movies that when I watched it, like. Uh, like one, it holds up because it's still good because it's just a good it's just story. It's a great movie, yeah. The story's yeah. great too. Yeah. And, it's, and it's got and it commits to its like its entire aesthetic. I feel yep. which is like really great. Um, I forgot where I was going with that point, but point is total. It's it's a great movie, Fifth Element. Everyone should watch it. But yeah. <laughs> oh oh, just that like once you watch it, you like understand a lot more cultural references and just mm-hmm. how it influenced like a bunch of like sci fi movies afterwards. Yep. Like it's Big great. Papa movie. It's a good one. You guys, you guys are really into uh, Star Wars. Like, I, I was watching your guys' episode and I was following oh, along with the thanks, trivia. Man. Yeah, I was. God, I, I was not as good as the trivia as I, got, I thought I was yeah. going to be. Same, I got a little too high too, albeit that was probably not the smart play to do before doing it because I missed one I should have never missed. Like, yeah, I don't just know why. Telling on himself. It's yeah, good hosting. It's good. The, uh, the Boba Fett's dad one was a tough one, but I found that one. Django um, Fett? No, you, you, you got it. The, the, the Naboo one. It was you, it was you was answering. If no, it's me. Me answering. He asking the questions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got gotcha. I'm more of the Star Wars. He, he, he doesn't mind them, but I'm the, like, the true Star I found like this crazy Reddit thread that had like four. Hundred questions, and let me tell you, some of them were gnarly. Some though, of those yeah. were some fucking deep. Cuts. Like where you'd have to like, be like, you had to be a, insane to know. Like I would, you, some, some of the questions. Like I don't even know what the a question super is. Super fan. Yeah. Um, but the AI, that's cool. You watched it, dude. The AI, how cool is the AI that you could just make AI make a character for you and it like wrote a whole storyline that was like really cool too. But yeah. Anyways, my my Jedi persona is motherfucking badass. I was proud. <laughs> it was. The AI is like trying to indoctrinate me for its takeover and shit, and like get some loyalty for me. Yeah. I know what you're doing, AI. Appreciate that. Well, that was you. the cool thing about it because you could tell it like uh, own personal things about you, and then it created the character around that too. That's so he was, like, he was like a mechanical. I Jedi. recommend it, dude. Yeah. Go it's make cool. yourself a Jedi <laughs> and or Sith, and just see what that says. Yeah. That'll make your fucking. Are, day, are dude. you saying you're a Star Wars nerd too, or like you at least enjoy the movies, or what's your level of Star Wars fandom? I definitely enjoy them. I I go very out of my way to to watch them, even though like I don't know. I would consider myself a, a Star Wars hater, but I. My my hate is honestly it's it's love like I I only care so much because like I like um I watched the uh, uh you know New Hope Empire Strikes Back and all those when I was really young because we yeah. had the VHSs of them 
and so i was so i was into star star wars from there and then the prequels was just like like oh shit dlc <laughs> prequels yeah. hell yeah this is awesome and uh i just i just like always liked its like uh, trajectory and everything but i did, definitely did fall out for a little bit just because um i didn't grow up with cable so i never got to see like the clone wars like i saw the animated like clone wars mm. the the 2d ones but like i couldn't watch the 3d one at all so i i went on a star wars dry spell for a while until like uh the mandalorian came out phenomenal and just show. like really re-sparked everything i liked about star wars yep. again it's a great show yeah they have a ton of shit out like between animated stuff and yeah it's it's kind of like marvel show. too they start saturating it comes too much and i'm sorry disney ruins everything marvel's dying yeah i mean marvel needs to die like the I'm madam sorry, web it, movie oh, God. terrible that's more so terrible yeah, bad yeah, horribly written it, yeah. no, shot no, it's not good yeah. you don't, don't it, even yeah. waste your time no no hate to the people that are in it it's just a bad a bad movie it's strange that you can make like crossover fatigue possible like like you it even like being interdimensional isn't even interesting anymore like multi-university like it, it actually grew old like superhero stuff just isn't as interesting yeah, because it's anymore. almost like they're just using it for money grab like let's just yeah different it's too worlds, much the shit it's too they much have correct. too many yeah. shows too, too many movies too many separate storylines and it's like i'm not dedicating my life to watching your shit so i yeah. can understand what's going on like that's too much for me like when they back in the day when they would like release a couple of them a year and they were like big events that's when you would actually want to go yeah. to the movies that's when it was fun and then it got worse after that in my opinion no yeah we're, we've reached like the, the once once we got fast like the a-list superheroes like b-list has been really rough yeah <laughs> like I'm, I'm i'm i hope someone likes them but like fuck is it rough to have like eight marvel movies a year and only like w two to three of them may be good the only uh, one i'm excited them. for that i will admit is the new deadpool i am excited for that one. yeah yeah I love the hopefully Deadpools. that won't be disappointing and also like comedy movies just like they're dead there are Sadly. no good comedy movies anymore they, they it's tough to they sell one yeah. They are, yeah like especially they because suck. it's just like if you watch old com comedy movies you're like ooh, that would never fly now but it shouldn't be that constricted but that's just the world we live in now with hollywood and shit sadly so with comedy movies i feel like it's just it feels like it's just too many like cooks in the kitchen type thing like we're like no not clearly not everyone in the room agreed that this was funny <laughs> like, yeah, yeah yeah but they kept it in because we we had we, i mean it's a movie we have to do a whole feature length not like everything is <laughs> gonna be a hit yeah but like i mean it's like horror movies too it's also hard to just sell in advertisements because like you have to put your best parts in the commercial and it's like when you watch a comedy movie like sometimes the bit just doesn't hit as much as it did in the commercial that's a real bummer when that happens i don't feel like it's too common but i i've definitely experienced it before and i feel like horror movies were more fun when you went to the theater yep um that's why it's actually kind of sad that theaters are dying yeah honestly. you kind of leave it there yeah. you're like oh that was scary like i'm not gonna go home and have nightmares everything's gonna be okay he doesn't like <laughs> horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> what what other movies scared you uh, growing up? Chucky was one of them for me. Another one was like the Leprechaun. Like the lepre <laughs> that movie. Was <laughs> Look, that movie is so ridiculous. But as a kid, it really fucked with me. Like like this guy is like running is running on like cartoon logic. <laughs> like and what if Bugs Bunny was trying to kill you? That's the whole that's the whole cell of leprechaun yeah. and i'm like yeah that is scary <laughs> like, that, yeah this little be fucking, <laughs> fucking terrifying i don't want to get murdered by a cartoon i know it's right like like uh <laughs> it is true it's funny like, like who framed roger rabbit movie. is yeah. a horror movie i'll say it yes. <laughs> yeah kind of to be honest when i was a kid yeah super creepy creepy it was like christopher lloyd and he like melted at the end like, yeah yeah he was a good bad guy though it's a good movie I like when horror stuff makes it into like not horror like type when it makes it into like kids movies where they they're just I don't know what the idea of is if it's that's just supposed to be like a throwaway scene or anything but I'm like why is this so brutal like the Roger Rabbit one it's like uh, or I guess that wasn't meant for kids but I watched it yeah I did too as a kid <laughs> my parents are Spanish they don't believe in uh, ratings <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> straight it R, it's a kid's movie, yeah. it's fine. It's Run got it. cartoons We're on good. it. It'll be okay. I would bet you, I'd, I'd bet a lot of people got fooled by that, though, thinking that it'd be okay for a kid to watch, and then they're like, oh, this is not I mean, made for kids at all. Like, a lot of, a lot of kid movies had, like, some dark shit at it. It, like in it yeah the older you get it, isn't that like, wild the though you... there's subliminal stuff that as a kid uh, it just goes right over your head and even know it but when you're an adult you're like oh yeah fuck. 
like you would never expect like like brave little toaster is strangely like <laughs> like there's some strangely like don't ruin this we, one for me uh, okay you know what <laughs> I'll let you live in your brave no, little toaster go ahead world. And tell Kyle. me, go ahead and tell me. <laughs> no, I mean it's 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 nothing like uh, it's it's strangely depressing in a way because like these these are these are discarded items that are trying to find their master. That's a li- that's a little weird, like just to sell to begin with. Because like uh, I don't know, we like hum- it's just like the idea of like humans always like will humify something even yeah. if it's like yeah, yeah. inanimate. So it's like that come to life. It's kind of like t- Toy Story in that sense, but yeah. like Toy Story. Th- think about how like like that is like these to- these discarded items aren't aware that they're not wanted. They're coming after like someone who doesn't even have a second thought about them. Like, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I gotta say, if I threw some shit away and it came back for you, and it came back horror movie. That's no, no, no. That's loyalty. I'm like. <laughs> Glad to have you back aboard. Okay, uh, that was that was my fault. I should not have thrown you away. You were prepared to serve. Proceed. Do you like, like Maximum man. Overdrive? You seen that movie? That reminds me of that because it's a, a really good one too. I'm Where blanking. all the it's an alien hits all the electronics and the electronics are like alive, so like trucks and stuff like that. Fuck! Are alive what the and, like, fuck the is that? No. Is that actor's name? He was the coach in the like Mighty Duck movies. I know the face, not the not yeah, the name. Yeah, isn't it uh, uh, Amelia fucking Estevez or whatever? Nailed it, buddy. Yeah, yes, yeah. he was Gordon Bombay. Yeah, yeah. The, great movie. Yeah. I haven't seen that. You should watch no, it. Oh no, it's, it's a sci-fi. Great it's movie. It's a sci-fi. It's you phenomenal. Would love that. Top tier movie, dude. Top tier movie. You got to watch it. It's really funny. But yeah, it's I the fact like that really alien that. hits yeah. the electronics and like people are getting killed by like blenders and shit and kitchen <laughs> stuff. And then the whole point of the movie is these semi trucks are like alive now and they trap these people in at a truck stop. And they can't leave because it's like killing them. Oh. It's cool. It's good. It's really good. It's just campy, but it's very good. Is it in real life? Is the it semi Stephen King? Would just. I think. I think. I think it is a Stephen. Is it, say, some of these cars weird. honking outside. I think it is a Stephen King's movie, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But it's it's good. It's a good watch. Yes, a, a think, semi would just murder the building. I gotta be honest. No, if yeah, was like yeah, that was one like thing that didn't make sense. They're like, mm, we're shit. not gonna drive yeah. in there, but it's still good. I would watch that. I like I like that type of shit. Yeah. Like uh, you guys ever seen a creep show? Yeah, like, phenomenal. Those are those are just those are classics, dude. Max and Ordry sounds like that that one where they're all on the raft, and then there's that that like just mysterious shape in the water, yep. just like yeah, that's a great that's a yeah. Great, I love that story. That I'm like I'm like afraid of like bodies of water, so that's like one specific short that always like sticks with yeah, me as like we scary. Are the same yeah. <laughs> in that right because it, yeah, creep show's <laughs> great. Though. There, there's a, is it just a Vegas man thing? <laughs> like, it like, probably large is, bodies dude. of water yeah, are scary. We're, we're desert people. <laughs> we don't. Is around. <laughs> yeah, oh one of my, my favorite one real quick a shout out here, one of my favorite bands, uh Black Dahlia Murder, they did a song, uh What a Horrible Night to Have a Curse, and the whole video was based off of the creep show story of when they bury when he buries um Oh, he and he says, people. I can hold my Correct. breath for a long time. That's the story yeah. when, when he, he killed those people and he buried them at the beach and he let the water come up with the tide. Oh, that's fucked, Whoa. dude. That's you don't remember fucked. that one from Creepshow? It's Creepshow 2. Did you see the second one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's when the tide comes and drowns him and then they come back and then they, they bury him, him and then the, the famous quote at the end is, I can hold my breath for a long time. <laughs> but it's it's good. But. So good, yeah. Another that would be a fucking terrible way to yeah, die. But we went oh full nerd God. on the pod. But great to have you. I could it couldn't have gone any other way with yeah. me. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I will. I'll always like talk about movies. Uh, it usually, it's it's like it's like my favorite thing. Same, dude. Same. We got into it. Like you went more the horror movie route, which I love too. But we had Josh Raman on, who's great, and he's a big Quentin Tarantino fan, like me too. So we were nerding out over that as well. Yeah, this is oh, nice. great, yeah. man. This flew this by. Yeah. You'll have to come come back for uh, another one. So. You got anything to plug? I would say like July, probably, Derek. Um, July, late June, July. Let me see. Yeah, on Instagram, I'm, uh, it's uh, Jorge Luis Fool. And uh, you could, uh, I have a show coming up in uh, July, uh, Donna's uh, Cougarlicious Club. Uh, I'll be doing that one. Wait, wait, when, uh, when, when, <laughs> when is that? I'm, I'm, I might, I'm probably gonna come to that one. I gotta say, that sounds, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, I'll send you, I'll send you a flyer. But it's, please, it's, 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 it's quite the flyer. I'm, I'm very happy with please, it. Please, please send send me the flyer. Yeah, I gotta Thank see you this. So much. <laughs> I need that. 
Who's on it? So the we Cougar. On it? So it's Cougarlicious by Donna Joy at the Cub House, the Tomcats Comedy Show, Eight Mill Comics, all female audience. <laughs> I'm July twenty eighth. I'm I'm so looking forward to it. Just because like just like an all female audience put me in, Coach. <laughs> so like we can't go. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's what, that's mean, what I'm so like, confused says, about. <laughs> if it says all female like audience, get men get in free. That's the only thing I can infer. I mean, I'm going to be a male member of that audience, <laughs> respectfully. Sneak us, in, sneak us in the back, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Just identify as a woman. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have any When would that go wrong? Anymore. <laughs> Shit, dude. Uh. But anyways, man, this is great having you on. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. We'll have to do it again. And yeah, thanks yeah, for having yeah. me. Check out his socials and the dates he just dropped. Check out the show. If you're a female, we do have a, a female audience, smaller, but they are out there. So appreciate you, ladies. Get in there. Do ladies. I have a show for you, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> got Don't tell Derek and Kyle. Love there. you, daddies. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. See you later. Goodbye. Good evening. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Naturals Pod. Please remember to follow us on your Twitter and Instagram accounts at The Naturals Pod. Do you have what it takes to join the Natty Nation? Like and subscribe to find out.